Welcome to this tutorial on using shape layers to build lower third graphics with Adobe After Effects Creative Cloud 2015. I'm going to demonstrate how you can create custom lower third graphics with some simple techniques. Let's start with getting After Effects open and creating a new composition. Select and adjust your composition settings so that they match your video project. Once you're done, press OK. Next, we'll navigate to the toolbar and hover over the rectangle tool. You might have another shape visible to you if you've used this tool in past projects. To change this tool back to the rectangle, just select the drop down arrow and choose Rectangle. With the Shape tool active, we can now go over to our composition window and by clicking and dragging, we can start to draw a rectangle. Moving your mouse left and right or up and down gives you complete control of how you want this rectangle to look. If you're looking to keep your rectangle or any shape you draw proportioned, then you can undo this shape by pressing Command plus C or Control plus C. Now, before drawing the shape, hold down Shift when clicking and dragging. In this example, I'm just going to draw my custom rectangle. So I'll undo this last proportion shape and redraw a rectangle. Once you have your shape drawn, go ahead and select the selection tool to reposition your shape. I'll move this to the bottom part of my composition window as this is the area where my final lower third will live. We can now begin to further customize the shape. Open up the contents for our shape layer by selecting the triangle next to our layer name in the timeline panel. Then select the contents dropdown, then rectangle. Here we can adjust a number of things including the color of our shape which can be found under fill. Open the fill options and select the color. This will open up a color option window. Here you can pick whatever color you'd like. Use the eyedropper tool to pick an exact color from a logo or a color palette. I'll select a darker gray color and then press OK. Next we can add a stroke around our shape. Collapse your fill option and open up the stroke dropdown. Here we can choose a color for our stroke, but I'll skip past that and adjust the width. Here I'll enter a value of 25. Now as you can see, our shape has an outer stroke applied to it. You can continue adjusting options here and really fine tune your look. I'll stop there and quickly add a line to our shape. This will help separate a person's name from their title which is commonly used in lower third graphics. Navigate to layer in the menu, and then new, then solid. In this window, we'll quickly select a white color as that is the color I want for my line. Now I'll press OK and adjust the scale of this new white solid. With the white solid layer selected in my timeline, press the S key to open the scale properties. Now I'll deselect the constrained proportion option and adjust the scale values individually until they fit within my rectangle shape. This might take some fine tuning depending on how you drew your shape. Finally, I can adjust the opacity of the layer by having it selected and then pressing the T key to open the opacity properties. I'll change this value from 100 to 20%. This makes the line a little more subtle, but still offers some separation between a name and a title. So now we have a lower third that we can add text to by adding it in After Effects or our other editing programs. But let's say that you don't want to use a rectangle. Maybe you're looking for another shape or style. Let's create a new composition again. This time, we'll select the Polygon tool and we'll draw it by clicking and dragging to the right. Now we can adjust the color, stroke, and other options just like we did for our rectangle earlier. But I'm going to show you how to turn this polygon into a triangle. Open the drop down options from the shape layer and then contents, then polystar 1. And finally, polystar path. Change the points value from 5 to 3. Now we have a triangle that I'm going to use for our lower third. Let's reposition the triangle by selecting the selection tool and moving it to our final on screen location. Once we have our position, we can adjust the rotation value by pressing the R key on the layer, and then adjusting the value to 90. We can also adjust the dimensions of our shape by dragging the bounding box points around it. Now let's add a stroke like we did in the earlier example. Open the stroke drop down options and change the width to 10. Finally, let's add some text to this lower third. You can add the text here in After Effects, or you can do this later on in your editing system after you've imported your lower third. For the sake of time, I'll add some quick text in After Effects. I'm designing this lower third for a cooking show, so I'm writing a step that is part of the recipe. The last thing I'll do is animate this entire lower third. The nice part about keeping all of your assets in Adobe After Effects is that you can easily test and control different looks you're trying to achieve. With our shape layer selected, I'll open the position properties by pressing the P key. Then I'll add a keyframe at 10 frames into my timeline. 
Once you're at 10 frames, press the stopwatch icon next to the position values. Now take your CTI and move it back to the beginning of the timeline. Adjust the Y value so that the shape starts below the screen. You can move your CTI back and forth on the timeline to see the animation you've just applied. Let's go to 15 frames in on our timeline and now let's animate our text. Select the text layer and press P. Press the stopwatch button to add a keyframe at this point. Next, move the CTI to around the seven frame in area. Now drag your X property value to the left until it goes off screen. Move the CTI back and forth to see the animation you've created. You can continue to adjust all of these parameters to your liking. The cool thing about creating lower thirds out of these shape layers is that you have complete control over your shapes, colors, sizes, movement, that can all help you create a customized look for your videos. Thanks for watching and check out my other tutorials here on Streaming Media Producer.